Hi, welcome back to Susan's Kitchen Corner, and on today's episode, we're going to make Kahlua. And I'm back, finally got my computer, computer fixed, so let's get started with homemade Kahlua. You're going to need a whopping eight cups of sugar. Doesn't this look so... Hey, let's do this. Doesn't it smell so good and look so yummy? Mm, mm, mm. Um, we're going to need... 12 tablespoons of U-Ban coffee, and this is the type, this is U-Ban, so this is the type I use. Now, you can use instant U-Ban 12, so it will dissolve, so you don't have to strain it. I like to use the, I uh, like to use the, um, the coffee, coffee, not the instant, uh, instant dissolve, because you do have to strain it, but better flavor. This, it's a little bit more work, but I like it. So you don't have to use, you can use instant coffee. If you just want to put it in, let it dissolve, and voila, that's done. We're going to need vodka. We're going to need uh, two pints. And so that is equivalent to one pint is two cups. So I'll figure it out here. Um, we're going to need a lot of vodka. Now this is Smirnoff. If you have a particular brand you like, go for it. I just use Smirnoff because that's what my mom always used, so that's what I'm used to. So, and on top of that, if you have any glass bottles, oh yeah, don't forget the vanilla bean too. Um, your choice on the brand uh, there's lots of brands. You don't need a cat meow. That's in the background. Uh, but a lot of different brands. So it's it's really up to you if you want to go for um, the higher the price, the better the vanilla bean. It is true. Uh, so these are $13. I got 10 of them. That's what I can afford. I don't think I'm going to spend like $99 for one vanilla bean. But I bet that would be really good clue. Up. But if you have any vanilla beans left, and you have some vodka left, and you have a pretty bottle like I do, cut the, you need, well, you need five vanilla beans split in half, and then you, you chop them, split them in half, so you expose the seeds, you put them in to a glass jar with your vodka, you put it in a dark spot, and every single day you shake it for a month, pure vanilla extract. You can't get better than this. The stuff they have in the stores, which I found out just recently, and I recently discovered why I never wanted to use it, is cellulose. So for some reason, cellulose mimics vanilla bean. So a lot of vanilla flavoring additives uh, would. Okay, well, off to that topic. Back onto the onto the um, the main course. So we got our sugar. You're gonna need bottles. Lots of bottles. I've got about anything with a cap on it. If you already have, if you drink alcohol and you have some liquor bottles with screw on caps, that works. Make sure you bleach these out. So pour a little bit, uh, bit of bleach, rest with water, let it sit for a day, then shake it out with some soap. Make sure you shake it out real good because we want these bottles sterile. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five bottles. And then I have another little, little, um, just in case. I have a little extra because this one still has some of the syrup in it. But I really like these. These, these are nice little bottles for me making all kinds of little different things. So, okay, so we got sugar, 12 tablespoons of instant U band, vanilla beans. One vanilla bean for each bottle. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I got five vanilla beans in here, which we're going to split. Okay. And let's get moving here because <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, so I have some boiling water. This is eight cups of boiling water. It doesn't look like eight cups of boiling water, but it is. So we're going to add the sugar to it. And then what we're going to do, oh yeah, one spoon. This 
no metal spoons with this, wooden spoon. So what we're going to do is we are going to melt the sugar. This is basically the biggest pot of hummingbird food you've ever made. So we're going to melt this and after it's melted and it's clear, then what we're going to do is we're going to let this cool down. Okay, just making sure I'm not getting ahead of myself. But actually, okay, it's looking pretty good. It's almost all dissolved. Okay, now what we're going to do is I got a little ahead of myself there. I'm going to, we're going to add a 12 tablespoons of, ooh, 12 tablespoons of, let me read this because I don't, I do not want to mess this up. <laughs> this, is, this is a one time deal. Okay, add U-Band to sugar water. Yep, okay, stir with wire whisk or wooden spoon. Okay, so we're going to add the coffee now. I'm going to take that off heat. And of course we're going to, that's what the wire whisk is for. Okay, my wire whisk is, okay, well it's going to be a wooden spoon. Wooden spoon's not going to hurt anything. So we're going to mix that in. Now this isn't the instant dissolve. This is, this is the pure, this is just the ground coffee. And like I said, it's a little bit more work, but it's worth it because you do have to strain it. See how it's it doesn't dissolve. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid on. This is off. It's not boiling anymore. The, the oven's turned off. So we're going to let that sit like that for a complete hour because we want the it's coffee. It's in hot water. It's going to it's going to do what it's going to do. So I'll be right back after an hour.